So wait, like you're saying you miss Domino's? Like, look, like I watch like a lot of anime and stuff. You trying to tell me there's not a Japanese McDonald's that has like special sauces and like special burgers? <laughs> All right, I'm going to be completely honest, bro. Completely honest. Japanese please. McDonald's, Japanese McDonald's surpasses every McDonald's I've ever had in the States. Ooh, every. Wow. Trash. Wow. I knew it. Yo, we definitely got to make a States, bro, my guy. Definitely got to make a trash. Bacon. Yeah. <laughs> I, go to, I go to McDonald's and I just get like, I'm, I'm simple. So I just get like a double cheeseburger, right? Bro. And it's like eating at a five-star restaurant, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> I yeah. swear. I, I yo, swear. we got to go. We got to go. <laughs> so, like, is the price kind of, like, the same, too? Or is it, like, a little bit more expensive? Like, yeah, how is discussion. it? The prices are about the same. Um, about the same. Yeah. Like, the yen comparison, it's, it's it equals out. <laughs> okay. So, like, I can't go in there and get crazy. Like, yeah, let me get a Wagyu beef. <laughs> <laughs> cheeseburger like thinking like all right yo that's like three hundred thousand yen i don't know how you're gonna fix that but no 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 you, you should be good bro like five dollars max what? wow that's cheaper than that's cheaper than down here right yeah Way cheaper. That's yo crazy. a lot of you don't understand like out here in the states now it's like you're like you know like when we were in high school like it was like if you want to buy lunch it was like nine dollars like eight nine dollars yep. now it's like fifteen dollars yeah much. Bro, i believe that bro. that's crazy I believe that. So it's like, it's crazy. So just to hear $5 for lunch is crazy. Yeah. Bro, y'all got to come out here, bro. I'm telling you. Like, yeah, if, sure, y'all, if y'all get the time, <clears throat> once all this COVID stuff, like, ends, like, take a trip out to Okinawa, and you guys will not regret it at all. How oh much God. How much is it for a ticket to go out there, though? Right. So we were going to come home in August, right? Um, mm-hmm. But then the COVID, COVID, it's hitting us now. And mm-hmm. then... I got stuff at work that's keeping me from going too. So I bought my ticket eight hundred eight hundred and sixty dollars. Both for both of us, like each eight hundred and sixty. It wasn't bad. Yeah. Uh, not not straight. It'll take us to Tokyo and then to Boston. Uh, that's still good yeah. though. That's really yeah. good. Yo, a lot of you the- yo, listen to this dog. I like my family we're, we're Haitian. So like I like me buying a ticket to go to Haiti, which is too far compared to Japan. That's yeah. like a thousand bucks. So the fact that I'm yeah. hearing that eight yeah. eight sixty is way too good of a deal. Bro, the cheap the cheapest I've ever got tickets, bro. It was uh June of two thousand and eighteen. I went home for like a month and I bought my tickets for like six hundred dollars each. And I was like I bought tickets from Texas to Boston one time and that was like four hundred dollars just to pay two hundred dollars to like cross the planet. <laughs> that shows beyond me. That's wow. I right, so yeah. yeah, yo, so yo, whole squad, yo, <coughs> Tokyo, Tokyo, Okinawa. We got to pull up. Just got, just got, oh, yeah. you know, take a look. Oh, Tokyo vlogs coming soon. Definitely. You definitely got to show us a hundred percent. Oh, bro. So I'm, I'm super picky too, and I say sushi's like trash because I never ate it. Uh-huh. Like my people be telling me that the sushi out here is amazing. The ramen too. But there's like I can take you guys to a couple of ramen spots out here. Lord, yeah, that would be it. That would <laughs> actually honestly, make, would actually make my whole life. Mad jealous right now. He's like, damn, he's really taking my life. Right that's now. why every time, man, every time I see one of his pictures or anything, that's why I post that meme. I'm like, yeah, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like, yeah, bro, bro. every time. Not hating at all. <laughs> I'm so happy that we have social media so we can keep in touch with you, dude. Oh, yeah, like, 100%. It's just I'm trying to think about it. Can you imagine, like, how it used to be for military people back in the day? Like, you just... Bro, letters, yeah. and that's it. <laughs> Telegrams. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't see what they're doing. You don't know how they're doing. Yep. You know, you got to send a podcast, es- essentially. Yep. I'm happy, bro. Like, with, where technology is taking us, bro, it's, it's, it's amazing. Like, I can call my mom, FaceTime her. She FaceTimes me every day. And it's just like... <laughs> It's to the point where it's like, yo, mom, chill. Like, <laughs> but like, she's able to FaceTime me every day. I can see her face. I can see my brother's face. It's a good time. That's awesome, man. Oh. Especially you know, with all the, you know, disconnection that you know what the military has. You know, a lot of this, mm-hmm. like you said, a lot of the strict curfews that you have, and a lot of the laws and rules that you have to follow, especially mm-hmm. when it comes to being in that country. You know what yep. I mean? It's craziness. I know a lot of their laws are like super strict. Like you go to jail oh, for bro, crazy. having any crazy. kind of contraband. Yeah. Anything. Like possible. out here in Japan, bro. So not that I know, right? But um, what's it called? I got like friends in the high school in here and shit. And right. they're telling me like eighty dollars for a G, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. 
No. I'm just still yeah. lying. I can't what? be lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I can't be lying. Twenty dollars for like Reg, bro. Reg, like complete oh, trash. The straight up grass. That's crazy. Oh. Yeah. That's actually crazy. <laughs> They're just clumping together yeah. oregano and hopes and dreams. <laughs> just sprinkle that shit up. Eighty dollars? That's nuts. I know everybody who's watching this right now is like, yeah, I gotta make some. Uh, I gotta make a couple calls so I can get out to. About <laughs> 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 to be a million. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's yeah, crazy. Bro. It's a small island, so like, it's you can't <laughs> at the ports too. They're really strict, yeah. so you can't import. So like, they grow here, but what they grow is trash. What I've heard, I haven't done shit out here. But Wait, realistically so like, speaking, they just need the right seeds. Is really what. Yeah, honestly, saying. that's all they need. Wait, you tell me that we can't just I can't just bring a pound over there. Listen to me. No, nah, that's the last thing you want to do in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> bro, like their <laughs> their drug laws are tight. Bro. Like, tight. Damn. Tight. All right. Just like their gun laws and their gun laws. Yeah. Are tight. Yep. Like I think like it's like it's hard to get, but like one gun per household if you're like a Japanese citizen. Yeah, that's the one thing I appreciate from Japan, like just like mm-hmm. the gun laws. Like, mm-hmm. like I have a question: Is like how's crime out there? Like, is there absolutely none? Like a little? Oh, bit? bro, literally, like because like we can't stay up past one. Even if we could, bro, like I could walk the streets by myself and not have to look over my shoulder or nothing. I went home to Boston, and mm-hmm. we were in Dorchester, and bro, like I was like. Like, Where I currently live. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, stay safe out there, bro, please. <laughs>